Hello there. Good evening. We meet again today. So today I'll be modifying my Elekit TU8500. Actually, it will be a quite simple modification uh, by adding the heatsink or additional heatsink into the diodes. If you can see here on the diodes, there is no heatsink. This one I specifically test a few days ago, adding a small heatsink and the temperature actually improved quite a lot. Uh, I have the FLIR image uh, camera uh, showing about 10 to 15 degrees better with the heatsink. I'll, I'll, I'll show the, the, the image a bit later. Maybe I will show it on the screen later. And with the kind of 10 to 15 degrees improvement, I'm really thinking I should add the others similar heatsink as well. But since actually there are some capacitors around here, so I need to remove the capacitor first in order to install the heatsink. And not really an easy job because actually you can see this board already like heavily packed with all the bulk com bulky components. But since actually I designed it quite well, so I can remove this board quite easy, quite straightforward. So I didn't show the way I remove, but should not be that difficult. So I just capture it here. You can see I have removed two capacitor from here. I just tried first and then previously I installed the heatsink here and then I will install a few more heatsink on some of the components. I'll be removing this capacitor as well because there is uh, quite of uh, hot diodes in here. I test with the FLIR camera. Again, I might be showing the temperature image on the screen later, but this one is quite hot, maybe about 60 to 70 degrees, especially when I put my E80CC, which drawing like double of the current. This is the, the diode for the filament for the heater. So the higher filament current on the tubes, the hotter the diodes will be. So that's quite makes sense. So without further ado, let me remove the capacitors, install the heatsink and plug it back. So this resistor is also quite hot, so my plan is I will install a small heatsink as well here, so you can see. I install a small heatsink on the back of the resistors because it's quite hot. So I just simply put the thermal tip there in between the pink colors if you can see it and then I installed the small heatsink on the back but I think this won't be too sticky so I plan to use my uh, copper wire to kind of uh, 
attach the the heatsink well. This is my my thin, very thin copper wire. So I will use it and circle around the heatsink to make sure it will kind of uh, attach both of them, make it tight, so it will not suddenly drop. So let's continue. After trying a few more times, I'm quite happy with the final appearance. It seems like these two quite tight now. Kind of uh, locking the heat sink well here. And yeah, I'm quite happy, although I need to practice. I think we do the work five to six times. But now I can confidently say I'm happy with the result. Yeah, I think this is what we have for the resistor. Let's continue with the diodes and we should be able to get the job done in the next couple of minutes. So here's the plan. I'll be installing the turret, the pin turret on the PCB like this. So after that, I will solder the, uh, the components, the capacitors on top of the turret. So you can see here, maybe the thing is a bit uh, cramped, but by doing this, I can still install the capacitor here and I can mount the heatsink on top of the diodes. So without further ado, let's continue installing the pin turret on the other uh, capacitors, uh, PCB uh, a hole, the PCB socket. And then we can kind of uh, install the capacitors on top of the turret. And then we can also mount the heat sink uh, on top of some of the component that might produce the heat. So let's continue. Now we can see the soldering has been completed for the first capacitor. I bend the lid a bit, so we will have enough space to mount our heat sink later. So let's continue to the next capacitor. So finally we complete the Installation. This will be the final appearance of the upgrades. You can see here the big, bigger heatsink because this diode is the hottest one. The second one actually not so hot. I have measured with my FLIO camera, so I put smaller heatsink. That one also not so uh, hot, so I put also a smaller one. But this one, I think the regulators actually uh, 
it is mounted on the PCB, so the, the tail mount actually being dissipated to the PCB. But I still put the extra heatsink on the top. And this is the last diode, which also quite hot, just like the first one. So I put also quite a bigger heatsink compared to the others. Appearance-wise, I think should be well acceptable. And it is kind of mounted quite okay. The installation is quite good. The adhesive is quite sticky. I don't need additional uh, screw or whatever to tighten the heatsink. Should be quite okay. And from this side, we can also see it was it is quite good, mounted quite well. So yeah, this is basically the final upgrades of the heatsink. So I hope this can be a better perform uh, circuit, especially when I use E80CC or any other tubes that might consume a bit more of filament current. So this diode will not be overheated. Although again, from my earlier measurement, I'll maybe like putting the screenshot later on the screen. This diode actually uh, will be like running 70 to 80 degrees with the A80CC tubes, but about 60 degrees with the normal 12 AU7. And some other components like the resistors and this last diode also quite quite hot. That's why I think extra heatsink will be helpful. So I guess this is for today. I'll be sharing the camera, the thermal camera image later, maybe on the next video. But at the moment, this is what we have for today. And see you again next time. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye-bye. So basically this is the preamp running and playing some music so we can see here the diodes they are having a heatsink and then the resistor we can see I installed the heatsink on the back with the uh, copper uh, wire should be strong enough to kind of stick the heatsink on the resistors and then you can see the other resistor as well uh, sorry the other diodes with the heatsink here and finally the other the last diodes on the back this is one of the hottest diode as well so let's observe the temperature with my FLIR camera later so let me turn on the, the turn off the light and we switch to the FLIR camera. Okay, this is my FLIR camera monitoring the the diodes. Let me change this ISO first a bit here. To make the image slightly better. Okay, let's try again. So we can see here the diodes actually quite cool. Although it's slightly hot, we can see the temperature roughly about 41 degrees. This is the one with the white cross there. 41 degrees approximate. So I think before this I also made sure without the heatsink. Let me see if I can find the image. I think this is, should be the one. So we can see here before the heatsink, because the temperature was 47.7. You can see here 47.7. And now with the heatsink, we can see the temperature just slightly kind of off 38 41 
41 degrees. So that was like 5 degrees improvement, which is quite good. The others, I think the resistor. We can see it's about 55 degrees now. So let me check as well what was the temperature earlier. I think we can see temperature earlier about 58 degrees, so about 3 centigrade improvement after I installed the heatsink. Not bad. And let's move back to the real time view. I think the other components not so much of kind of uh, uh, temperature, not so much of kind of high temperature. We can see most of them are in the yellow color, means on the mid band of the temperature. Right, the white one, the whitest one, 57 is the resistor, and the rest are just simply red and yellow. Means they're roughly, maybe we can see here the yellow one in the cross about 43 degrees. So we can see here, maybe let me boost the ISO a bit. So the other diodes actually not so hot, right? The center diodes, the small heatsink one, it's not so hot. Right, and the the biggest uh, heatsink on the on on the. Let me show the the lights there, on the center. There's kind of under the capacitors, that is one of the hottest diodes, and we can see the temperature now. It's not so bad. Temperature now that big, about fifty degrees. 50 degrees is not bad. Let me see if I have some photo of the uh, of the diodes before I install the heatsink. Should be quite some time back. Let me see if I have the picture. Hold on. I think I have here about 60 degrees 60 60 degrees this was when i did not install the heatsink and now in the real time you see the temperature roughly staying at the 40 50 degrees 51 degrees so that's about 10 centigrade celsius improvement with the heatsink not so bad right So overall, I'm quite happy with the improvement. We can see the temperature improve with the heatsink. So hope by the time I plug my e ATCC, the temperature increase will not be that bad. So stay in touch. I will be showing the temperature measurement with e ATCC later. Thank you for watching. See you again.